Hello everybody, I'm Remy Man here and I'm coming at you guys with what is hopefully a helpful tutorial. This is how to make a Minecraft Pixelmon server for Minecraft 1.6.4. This ought to work with other versions of Minecraft. I just know for a fact that it works with 1.6.4. I can't test any future builds to that because Forge has not yet been updated. And this I know works with Pixelmon up to 2.5.7. Not quite sure about anything after, but that's as far as it's got, so it seems to work. So anyway, let's get into this. The first thing you're going to want to do is be on your desktop and create a new folder. You're going to want to name this whatever you want your server to be called, like Pixel or, you know, just whatever. You're going to want to come here to files.minecraftforge.net. Er, files I want a different one, but this here will be down in the description below anyway. Go to come to 164 recommended and just click installer. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have it, but basically it's going to give you this, okay? So you're going to hit install server, click the thing to change your directory, and then you're going to click whatever you have your server named as. You're just going to click OK. That's going to download all the libraries and install it into that folder. So I will be back with you after it does it. Okay, so once that's finished downloading, you ought to get this thing that says successfully downloaded Minecraft server, downloaded six libraries, and installed Forge. So you're just going to hit OK. You're going to open up your folder and click Minecraft Forge Universal. Then 1.6.4, yada, 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 whatever Forge version you have. It's going to open up this console where it's just going to generate the world and all. This is your server, okay? So this is just your console and all that you're going to use to do stuff. Now when it hits done, you just type stop. And what this here does is it's going to save all your chunks and all. If you just hit X, it's not going to stop the server and it's just going to get all messed up. So always type stop when you're done, okay? So it it's just stopped and now you have your server properties and all this other stuff that you can go in and do. Then there's also this mods folder. So the mods folder, what you're going to do is come to this link here in the description, the Pixelmon mod, and you're going to download Pixelmon 2.5.7. So you're just going to hit download, and you're just going to wait for this to download. So I'll be back when it's done downloading. Okay, so once that's done downloading, you're just going to click and drag it to your server and then you're just going to put it inside of the mods folder. Click in the mods folder and there it is. So now you're going to click on Minecraft Forge Universal again to bring up your server. You're going to run Minecraft while this is booting up. Just, you know, to check and make sure that it works. I'm just going to do local host. And there you go. Pick your starter. We'll do Cyndaquil. Ho, ho, ho. But, yeah, so this is all fine and dandy for you. But just starting off like this, unless you already have a server, your friends aren't going to be able to get on it. So, I'm going to do slash stop real quick. Oh, I'm not an op. No matter, I'll just do stop here. Okay. So, you're going to want to bring up a command prompt. Do CMD in your start menu. And then here, you're going to type IP config. All one word. There you go. So... You're going to want to find your default gateway, 192.168.1.1. So you're going to type that, 192.168.1.1, and then search it. It's going to pop up this here. This works for Netgear routers, I know. And your username is usually going to be username, and your password is usually, usually going to be password. So you're going to log in. This here is based off of your... Uh, based off of your your uh, IP address is why it's always the same. So you go to advanced, advanced setup, and then port forwarding slash port triggering. 
then you're gonna go back to your command prompt 192.168.1.4 see here's mine for Void's Wrath and it's already 192.168.1.4 so it's already set up but if you're not you're just gonna put 192.168.1.4 here then you're gonna add it and then you're gonna put your external start port you're just gonna put all your start and imports to 25565 and then just save it and then the way that, that does it, it is import forwards and then you're going to go to ipchicken.com okay and basically ipchicken.com is going to give you your IP address and then your friends are going to have to use that but then they're going to have to put colon 25565 at the end of it and then after they do that it'll they will be all right to just come onto the server and they can play and yeah that's basically it so thank you guys for watching this has been i'm a rain man please remember to comment rate and subscribe and yeah thanks peace